Hi everybody, it's Purity Lunar here, and today I am making a tutorial video on keeping your linen safe. Now, I know that there are a lot of people that play Devil's Advocates on a lot of my tutorial videos when it comes to security videos that like to say that these methods don't work for them or no, that's not the only way, but uh, just keep in mind that this is the method that I personally use. Um, this is the method that I've been using for a while, and I will say that it's worked for me with no problem whatsoever, and um, I'll explain uh, why it works and reason reasoning behind it and everything like that. So, um, what inspired me to make this video to begin with is because um, a couple of weeks ago, my best friend's account was hacked. Now, he was hacked in the absolute worst way possible. And also keep in mind that um, hackers can be crafty. Uh, it isn't always necessarily the person who is hacked fault. Um, no, he did not give his password out to anybody. Um, sometimes you can just get hacked um, without giving your password out to anybody whatsoever. Sometimes it could be um, somebody hacking into your computer. Sometimes like it can happen for a number of reasons. Um, but what had happened is his uh, account was hacked and the hacker got his account permanently banned for inappropriate age play. So he was completely unable to get his account back. Um, and also, whatever accounts that he had made with the same email account that he used for his main account, um, also known as his alternative accounts were also shut down so he had lost everything and he had invested a lot of money into this account he lost all of his Londons he lost absolutely everything uh, he was not able to retrieve absolutely anything from his main account so this is what inspired me to make this video um, mainly because so things do happen. People do get hacked. Um, Linden Labs isn't always sympathetic, uh, no matter what your situation is. Um, they certainly were not sympathetic to him. Um, I mean, I understand because inappropriate age play is a very serious offense. Um, and I mean, it, it really is unfortunate that it ended up like that, but uh, I was inspired to make this video to um, help keep Linden safe just in case this were to happen to anybody else and somebody's account got compromised or somebody hacked into your account and stole your Linden's. It doesn't matter, but um, I'm making this video just to, you know, make sure just to give an option on keeping Linden safe. So, we'll get started. So essentially what we're going to do is make you a personal ATM or a uh, piggy bank script. Um, you won't be required to buy anything to do this, um, just so you know for sure that you're not going to be hacked or ripped off by anybody. You're going to do this all on your own and I'm going to teach you how. I know that there are various like piggy banks on the marketplace that you can get, but we don't want you to have to pay for anything, so we're going to just do this all on our own. So the first thing we're going to need is a script. Um, you can get this script from the Second Life Wikipedia page. Um, this ensures that you know that I'm not ripping you off. It's coming from the Second Life page on its own. Um, the script is uh, it, the link to the script is going to be in the description box down below of this video. And so go ahead and grab that whenever you get the chance. I am going to open up this, I'm going to copy and paste the script from the website into a new script and I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second after I get it off the website. 
Okay, so I have copied the script off of the Second Life Wikipedia page. So what I'm going to do is under my scripts folder in the inventory, I'm going to right click on the scripts folder and then click on new script. And then I'm just going to call it, you can call it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it ATM script. Okay, I'm going to go to properties and I am going to make it full perm. And you will see why later why I'm going to do that but we need to make it full perm. And then I'm gonna open it up. And then I'm gonna delete everything here and replace it with the scripts that I got from the Second Life Wikipedia page. Okay. So then I'm gonna save it. Okay, next, what you need to do now this is kind of a pain, but I assure you, this is going to offer you optimal security, and it is necessary. You need to make an alternative avatar, and when you make the alternative avatar, you need to use a different email address than what you use from your main avatar. And like I said earlier, the reason why you need to do this is because if for some reason your account gets hacked or compromised, Linden Labs will not shut down your alternative account as well. Because if, if they do shut down your alternative account, you won't be able to retrieve your Lindens from your ATM. So after you do that, I already have my alternative account made and it has a different email address as well. Right here is where you put your avatars UUID and what that is is your avatars unique ID number and every object and every avatar and everything in Second Life has its own unique ID number. Okay, and then next, right here, you see this little line right here that says key, manager key, and it says 0000. This is where you want to put your main avatar's UUID. And how you find that is you open up your profile, and if you're using Firestorm, you open up your profile, and up here you see key. And you want to copy and paste this key right up here. And then you want to place it right in here. Now, if you're using Second Life Viewer, I'm unsure of how to get your avatar's UUID key. Because I remember back in the day when I was using that viewer, I was unsure of how to do it. But down in the, the description box, I have linked you to a free UUID finder gem. And I actually have one in my inventory that I can actually show you how to use in just one moment. So it's called the Avatar UUID Finder Gem by Dollar Daisy. Um, once again, like I said, I have a link to it down in the description box and it's free. And it's copy and transfer so you can show it with your, share it with your friends. So what you would do is you would res it out. And to find your avatar's UUID key, all you would do is you would click on it. And in local chat right here, it would show up. And you would just copy copy that from local chat and simply place it in your script like so. As you can see, I already have it in there. Okay, now you want to save that. Next, we need to put the ATM script inside of a full perm object. Now, this can be anything that you want it to be. It can be a, a piggy bank that's full perm. You can make an object, like you can put it in like a picture frame so it can be secretive. Like it can be absolutely anything you want. But for example reasons, I am honestly just going to make a box because I already have an ATM so this is just going to be for demonstration purposes and I apologize for the lag. 
I am lagging horribly right now, so I really apologize. Okay, so I have created my box. Now, like I said, you need to make sure that this is full perm because we're gonna be transferring this eventually to our alternative avatar. Okay, so I'm going to name this. Don't make it obvious, okay? So let's just name this something like like box, okay? Just so nobody suspects it as being anything. Honestly, I'd make it something other than just a box, like put it in like a like a full perm picture frame or a statue or something like that just so nobody knows what could be po like possibly be in it. Like don't make it obvious that it's a bank. <laughs> like, you know. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our ATM script inside of it. And then, yes, we're going to allow Linden access, so press allow access. Okay, everything's full perm. And our script, I believe, yep, that's full perm too. And our UUID is in there. Oh, second off, you need to make sure that your alternative avatar that your alternative avatar's balance is zero lindens, and that's just because um, the script, in order for the script to work, your alternative avatar's balance needs to be zero. And if for some reason it's not zero, just send the lindens to your main avatar. Okay, so next we are going to pick up your ATM, and then we are going to send it to our alternative avatar and now that's done and now we are on to the next step I am going to log into my alternative avatar just to make sure that everything is working okay so now I'm on my alternative avatar and as you can see the balance as is zero dollars as you can see and I have accepted inventory from my main avatar from the ATM that I had just made and now pretending that this was my house I would put this ATM wherever I would like to and I would simply res it out and I would allow access to my linen dollars and I'd say yes and I would position it wherever I wanted to and then it should be set up now to test it Okay, now that I'm back on my main avatar, all I would simply do now is I would right click on the ATM and I would select pay. And then when I wanted to deposit Linden's, all I would do is select the desired amount, but just for example reasons, I will deposit 10. And then it would say in local chat my new balance was 10 lindens and then it would say that I would pay my alternative account 10 lindens and then if I clicked on my ATM it would say my balance and if I had let's say like a hundred more than a hundred or more than a thousand it would like show me in buttons here let me show you let me play, let's say, 500 Lindens. And then it would show me my new balance in local chat, like I said, and I could click on it again. And it would show me balances that I could withdraw from buttons 50, 100, 250, 500, and then all. And then whenever I'd want to withdraw money, I could withdraw the desired amount. Now, let's say that your account was compromised. Let's say that my main avatar went bye-bye and I didn't have my account anymore. Um, see, let me pay some Linden's again. Let's just do five for the win. Then I would still have my main avatar, as you can see, because I signed up using a different email address, so my account wouldn't have been compromised. Also, another important factor would be that I 
haven't added anybody. Nobody knows about this avatar except for me. Um, I have most of my Lindens uh, deposited within this account. So if I were to make a new account, all I would have to simply do is transfer the money that I had on this account over to my new account. And uh, that's a pretty simple way of keeping your linden safe in certain instances of getting hacked and what have you. Um, now keep in mind I am no scripting wizard or anything like that. Um, all these scripts that I've gotten, like I said, were on the Second Life Wikipedia page and uh, so I, I don't know how to make scripts or anything like that so I can't answer scripting info. Um, I can try to answer questions the best that I can, um, but I really hope that this is insightful for you and whatever questions you have I'll answer the best that I can. But I appreciate you watching this video, and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to me and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.